people are riding in the streets. Bitcoin solves this. Investing solves this. We also have news of Binance, some FUD that's happening there, uh, and some misleading accounts. And what they're talking about on Twitter, I think, is a little bit drastic. I, I think we need to talk about this and some new adoption in crypto. Now, I am in the airport here in Greece. Uh, it's very quiet right now, but in case I'm a little bit distracted, this is my second time recording this because there are some people walking through. And I'm just always a little bit, I'm trying to be a little bit courteous, right? Not everyone wants to hear about crypto and what's happening in the world. But if you do, hit the subscribe button underneath the video, turn on that bell notification so you know right when I post future videos. And if you want to know exactly what I'm buying and selling, you can check out the link to the Patreon underneath the video. Now, let's get into it. That's enough jabbering. The market. Obviously, we had a pretty bad day in the overall market yesterday. People are just worried about recession. Uh, whether it is because of jobs reports or because of something else. We we did get the ADP report yesterday, and a lot of people are worried we're not going to get that soft landing. Now, some cryptos are still doing extremely well. For example, Ethereum down 2.3% of the day, but it did spike up just a few days ago. It's still up 4% over the last seven days. Dogecoin's up 18%. So cryptos with narratives are still moving, but overall, the market is down a little bit. Even if you look at XRP, right, XRP made a big move just a couple weeks ago with people thinking that SEC lawsuit was going to be done. Now it's down 9% in the last seven days. So you want to make sure that you don't jump in too, too late on the train and that you don't get stuck holding someone else's bag. Now with that in mind, there's some news out there that we should cover. Binance Australia derivatives license is canceled by regulator. Now a lot of, a lot of Twitter accounts, or at least one that I can think of, one big one, uh, is reporting this in a way that seems really bad. They just say something along the lines of Binance got uh, Australia license taken away uh, or canceled by regular, but they don't say derivatives license. So basically, a lot of different governments are going after Binance or wanting to get more information. Australia here is just talking about the derivatives license because they had basically classified some retail traders as wholesale clients and I don't know exactly what that means for their law. I don't know if Binance makes more money from it or if investors save more money or have more leverage or something like that. But basically, they they misclassified. And we know that the CFTC basically said that they did the same thing in the U.S. Basically, uh, instead of misclassifying clients, they basically let U.S. clients go to Binance and said Binance U.S., which is a no-no as well because there are different regulations. So... Under this law in Australia, they are going to have to cancel this license. Now they probably make a lot of money from this, so they'll probably try to get it back at some point. But we'll have to see. It. Just keep in mind, Binance, like a lot of other crypto exchanges or a lot of uh, financial companies in general, right? They step on some toes. They break things. But they overall, I think Binance is trying to do the right thing, and they're not they're not super sketchy or anything like a lot of these other exchanges. But still, I, I would still take your crypto off. And Dubai is now questioning them as well, basically trying to get more information about Binance, like their structure, who owns the company, how it's all set up. But uh, at this point, Binance basically said that they have given all the details. They say um, that they've given all the details that they need to provide. So we'll see what comes out of this and whether they actually disclose more information or not. I think Dubai is a little bit more lenient on a lot of this th on a lot of this stuff, but all countries are looking at Binance and all crypto exchanges under a uh, fine tooth comb or under a microscope right now. Now, on to some good news. Ralph Lauren is now taking crypto payments at their Miami store. They're also doing an, an NFT airdrop. So whenever we get more information about adoption, I think that's good. They're going to accept Bitcoin, Ethereum, Matic, ApeCoin, and USDC. So again, one more use case for crypto. And then the riots. Pension reform protesters briefly invade Paris, BlackRock building. Now they're saying that they're invading BlackRock. BlackRock does have some uh, connection to pensions. Obviously, they do a lot of pension work, but they're also occupying a lot of government buildings. So it's not just BlackRock, but they basically got their pension age taken up two years. A lot of people are upset about that. They don't want to have to work. It's up to 64 from 62. I think people on this channel realize that pensions are not safe anyways. 
So we have to invest in Bitcoin. We have to invest in uh, other assets because a pension's not good enough. If you have family members that think it is, maybe you should tell them to invest a little bit more. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.